So recently, Sony has released the update 7.0 firmware for the PlayStation 4. This update has brought remote play to all Android devices, a feature which was only reserved to Sony Xperia phones and that later came on to Apple iOS devices. But now you can get it on your Android device and I'm gonna show exactly how to set it up and get your PlayStation 4 games anywhere and how to play them on your mobile. As always, if you enjoyed the video and find it helpful, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell notification icon. Okay, so first things first, go to the App Store or the Play Store, depending on your device. Search for Remote Play. Download the first app, PS4 Remote Play. I have already downloaded it, so I'm just gonna open it. So you're gonna click Start on the app. And I've already signed in, it's gonna require you to sign into your PlayStation account. Yep. So once it's signed in, it's going to search for your PlayStation and I'm going to tell you how to set up your PlayStation for the same. Okay, so I'm at the PlayStation and what you have to do here is you got to go up to settings, scroll down, go to remote play connection settings and click on enable remote play. It's going to be off by default. You're going to click enable remote play. After doing this, your device should be able to connect to your PlayStation 4 and display its screen on your mobile device. If it's taking a long time and if it's having some errors, you can add device manually. So we're going to do that. Got to click on start. Click on register manually. And now we got to go to add device. And it's gonna show a code through which you can connect to your PlayStation 4. So enter the code uh, in the space provided on your mobile device. And yep, the app should be connected. Okay, so I've uh, entered the code and it's connecting to my PlayStation. Okay, so the device is connected and as you can see, the entire display of the PlayStation 4 is now on my mobile device. Now if you experience some performance and quality and latency, major latency issues, during the remote play session you can go into settings you can change the video quality and frame rate of the streaming uh, depending on the internet connection that you have if you have a really good internet connection you should go frame rate and go and set it on high otherwise leave it on standard and if you have a good internet connection you can move up to high and best quality for streaming but if you have a normal or really bad internet connection you can switch between low and standard okay so as you can see it gets all the buttons and the analog sticks and whatnot on the screen there's a little bit of latency but it's not that major and is pretty okay for most games so yeah, I'm gonna go back and let's let's just play I guess we should play Batman so there is also haptic feedback when you like touch the buttons and stuff Yep. Okay, so we're in the game. Let's do some basic stuff. Got the boost works. Let's get into a fight. Man, Arkham Combat feels so good. Bitch! I'm sorry about that. What the hell? Yep. So that is pretty much how you play PlayStation 4 games on Android on the go. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the bell notification icon. I'll be posting more videos like this based on tutorials and stuff and all the updates regarding the remote play app on Android. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So you don't want to miss that, hit the bell notification icon. So yeah, I'll see you all next time.